Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day Road to TG World 2019. I almost started with a mic with a with a mic muted <laughs> as I've sometimes done before and then chat very kindly lets me know about it. So, we are going to be playing more Nido Queen. A lot of you guys mentioned that you wish they you had seen more games and <laughs> thank you so much Henry for the 19 bits. Very very kind of you. Always welcoming. Um, always happy to get more M&Ms, I really do love them, both the bit ones and the real ones. Uh, but yeah, no changes to the list, if you want to see a full deck breakdown, definitely check out the video from earlier or from last week if you're watching on YouTube, yeah, or there's if you're watching on Twitch and you want a full description of the list, there is a video describing why each card is in there and how the deck works. So I'm gonna skip that part for today and we are going to just chill and play with my favorite Pokemon, which is right here. So she's gonna be watching over us, um, probably gonna be falling quite a bit, uh, but yeah. You feel like every time the transition happens you're being teleported, Jedi? <laughs> well, it's cool. It's a pretty cool transition, right? It's a pretty cool transition. Um, so yeah, I'm liking how the stream looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. I'm glad I made um, whoops, I'm glad I made the changes. Mm, Nino Queen becomes too tall if she's there. If I had some tape, I would just tape her here. Maybe that's what I should do. Just get some tape and tape her here. That would be pretty cool. That way Nino Queen could watch over all of our games. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Ah, uh, no, it's too tall. I mean, too short. Oh, well, maybe I can put her in my shirt. There we go. Eh. There we go. So she's chilling, but she's watching. Okay, hopefully we don't misplay too much here. Are we up against Guardi? I feel like that's probably a good matchup since they do pressure, but not as much. And 150, like you can tank a hit with Swampert. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Henry. Thank you so much for the extra MMs. Very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so definitely not the best start. Here, um, going first, interesting decision between Greens and Lily actually, and I think, huh, I think it's definitely Greens, right? I think it's definitely Greens for double mess ball. Yeah, I think that makes sense to me. Um, let's check our prizes. Two Needle Queens prize, that's bad news. No other Pokemon prize, surprisingly. One triple. So two Nido Queen, one triple, and then uh, not sure what else is prized. Maybe one Poke Gear. I'm not sure. Uh, but two Nido Queens is the important part. So we're just gonna get one of each. Um, nothing should pressure us immediately, and then I can. Um, I can red hand in, into Nido Queen and start using Queen Skull, so all I need is to do is find another red candy, which should be fine. Um, <laughs> so my opponent immediately benches a Lele for Elms, Elms for, I assume, Ralts, triple Ralts or double Ralts and Vulpix, right? Why fire energy over water, Ray the Poor Man? Because uh, with the fire energy, like if you ever need to you could use your opponent's heat factory yeah the water energy it could increase swampert's damage output um oh wow so never mind this is apparently a mirror match nine tails and swampert so i wish i had a way to attack my opponent's hand i actually do not that greens exploration is just a ridiculous ridiculous top deck so I'm going to grab a rare candy and I'm going to grab an Ultra Ball. That was a ridiculously good top deck. Um, too bad I didn't start the Nido Queen, right? I mean, we're just gonna be patient here. Okay, so now this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna rare candy into this friend and then I'm going to use Queen Skull to rare candy into Meganium. Right, I think I'm gonna end up losing the thing. I don't. I don't think I can afford to use Swampert this turn though. 
I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can. Next turn, I Queen's Call for Swampert. But I'm still in the same spot though. Real games, my next tournament, my next big tournament is definitely um, NAIC. I chose to skip Madison. Um, so it would have been Madison, but I chose to skip it. I have League Cups the next three weekends, I believe, um, before NAIC. So that I have that going. Um, but yeah, it's NAIC and then it's Worlds. Two tournaments in three months, which is really weird. Right, because it used to be, or I've been uh, used to like three or four every month since February. Um, at least two. I think it's been at least two every month since February. Maybe more. I'm not sure, but yeah, it feels like February, February, March, April, and May were crazy, crazy months. This is super uncomfortable. Um, they were super crazy busy months, but now only two tournaments in the next few months And I'm actually very happy about that. I love going to tournaments, but I also am looking forward to Resting okay, so I top deck a stretcher So now I look like a fool for keeping the other stretcher um, I kind of like KOing the mechanium the mechanium here Right KOing my opponent's Meganium should be a good idea when you're up in the Meganium mirror match. Because he also can never get another Meganium immediately. So now the card I get rid of is the Lily, right? Off of the power draw. And there we go. That's pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and Kuzma. And I'm doing exactly 160, right? Let me just double check. 10 plus 50 for each of Oh, on your bench, never mind. So I'm actually not KOing. I'm not KOing anything. <laughs> I am not KOing anything. What am I saying? The Nagnadel doesn't make much sense to me. What is she trying to do? Okay, so then I'll wait. Oopsies. My bad. I mean, I'll do it next turn, right? It's just as good next turn as it is this turn. It really is just as good next turn as it is this turn. And what I can do is I can Queen's Call for Chikorita, Ultra for Meganium, Quick Ripening her a new Meganium, and then Quick Ripening her again into the second Needle Queen, and then Queen's Call for something else. So, yeah. Spoon Sauce. Um, I'm not very familiar with Guanajuato. I can definitely tell you it's safe um, for a white American. Um, as long as like you're smart about where you go and stuff, you'll be fine. It's actually a very touristy city, yeah. So you would be completely, completely fine and safe. Um, <clears throat> are there any cops, Pokemon cops near? I don't think though. I don't think so. I don't think there's um, a region there. Oh wow, Stinger GX. So, we both draw three prizes, and how is she going to get the other three prizes? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, sure, she does that and she gets the three prizes, but then what's the follow-up? What does she do afterwards to take the other three prizes? That's what I'm not understanding here. Okay, so quick ripening curve on the other meganium, and then quick ripening curve. <laughs> Missing Clover? Yeah, honestly, that might be what we're up against. Missing Clover. Um, I am going to Nest Ball for Mudkip. Wait, did. Oh, she shuffled my prizes, so now I have different prizes. Now I actually have different prices. The energy is what worries me. Now I have all my energy. And now I have my Nido Queens back as well. Huh. I have one Chikorita and one Meganium prize. I don't mind that at all. Okay, so I feel like I go Guzma KO Meganium and then I go Guzma KO HGX to win, right? He has zero Ultra Beast, so the psychic typing from Nagana Del doesn't hurt me. And I will Power Lariat for 210 damage. 
right? Going to go eat Jedi. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Definitely there will be more streams. Yeah, there will be a lot more streams. A lot, a lot more streams. Giovanni's Exile. He can't get rid of all the GXs though. There's the Nine Tails, there's our win condition. Is she trying to known hand? Wait, I don't I don't understand what she's trying to do. I really don't. You were using Reshizard and so she KO'd top. Oh my gosh! Clover! <laughs> How have we played against two missing Clover decks in one day? What? How? How? <clears throat> you were right, stole my name. You were completely right. But how does this happen? <laughs> how does this happen? Thank you so much for the follow, Vitrex. How does this even happen? <laughs> so weird. But we'll take it. We shall take it. Okay. Okay, we're up against Reshizard, which I think is a good matchup, right? What's wrong with Clover? Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with Clover. I'm just surprised because you never see it. Yeah, nothing wrong with uh, missing Clover. I'm just surprised that I'm running into it so often because it's definitely not a common thing to see. Yeah, but absolutely, absolutely nothing wrong with missing Clover. Okay, I need a magical top deck. I need a magical top deck here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to nest ball for Mudkip. <clears throat> but I need a magical top deck. Magical top deck includes Pokegear, Lilies, or Green's Exploration. <laughs> it's a joke, sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't know if you were the person I just played, so. No, that's not the magical top deck. That is so not the magical top deck. I probably should have figured out my prizes, it's fine. Are we gonna get Weldered into Oblivion here? <clears throat> I hope not. I hope not, but I feel like my opponent will probably try. Chooses something else above the energy. We're gonna see a Nest Ball as well. I feel like my opponent's playing the Jirachi version of the deck. And that's exactly what pops up. And we just see a pass, so very underwhelming start from my opponent as well, so now I'm not feeling too too bad. Definitely the card to get rid of is the Oranguru. Though there is merit to giving the Oranguru to bench in order to promote. Because we are going to need <laughs> we are going to need a few turns to stabilize here. Can't even Lily, that's so bad. I'm really gonna have to stretch her for the Oranguru. I mean I could get a KO. That's not terrible. Meh. Doesn't really help me win though. I feel like, okay, so I'm gonna attach, you know, I'm gonna use up the energy. I don't care. I just, I really want a Lily. No! <laughs> what is this? That is so bad. That is actually so bad. That is actually so bad. Okay, but that's also pretty bad for my opponent as well, so really shouldn't complain here. Um, I'm gonna power draw one Meganium. I feel like I, my opponent won't have <clears throat> a lot of time to just play around with that. I will do this, and then I think I have to judge here. I really, I mean, I know my opponent is not drawing well, but I really need to find Chikoritas. These are not Chikoritas, guys. These are really not Chikoritas. Um, I will bench this guy. I will attach the fire to the Ranguru because I'm definitely going to promote that guy after. After this guy goes down, his poor little friend goes down. And then I'm going to put back like Rare Candy, Energy, and Meganium. If I trade away the Meganium. Or Rare Candy, Triple, Rescue Stretcher seems slightly better uh, we see the turret we see the attachment we see the skateboard we see the mill tank 
and we see a switch. I feel like that's overdoing it because what can you Stellar Wish? If this is my list, if this is actually my list, man, there's nothing, there's not one card that you can Stellar Wish for that really helps you. If he plays the escape rope right now, I feel like that's a big waste. Yeah, so yeah, definitely shouldn't play that. Um, Outrage will do the job here. I mean, the Orangaroo putting back the rare candy means we have access to five rare candies, which is never a bad thing, right? Never a bad thing. Um, okay, so the Pulp Pack could be useful. Gonna get rid of the Meganium. And Stretcher. Now I can't Greens. Ugh, now I can't Greens. Okay, so I really need more supporters, better supporters. And then I will Ultra Ball, right? For the Chikorita. And then I will Stretcher. And then whatever I get, I will end up. Um, I will end up uh, trading away. And then definitely rare candy, definitely stretcher, definitely triple. The order doesn't really matter. Not in a great spot though. Not in a great spot. You don't get the hype for this deck. I mean, it's definitely not working very well right here. Um, I did get a turn one supporter. The hype is stage two. Yeah, that's the main hype. The, the hype is the fact that this deck uses stage twos. Um, I don't mind losing the Nidoran instead of the or angry because I can just put it back. Uh, what? <laughs> My opponent just top decks the Dene? Of up 39 cards? What? <laughs> of up 40 cards? 1 in 40 chance. Oh boy. Now that's a bad card to see. Now that is a really bad card to see. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he actually top decked the Dedene. Yep, goodbye Swampert, and we're dead now. We are 100% dead. We are 100, 100, 1 million percent dead. Now I wish I had the fire in my hand for a heat factory. Oh, what a top deck. What a top deck. Eh, not quite so much the top deck we were hoping for. Um... Great ball, keep the Nido Queen. And then resource management. I don't care about making the deck bigger here. Okay, now I definitely want the greens in there somehow. In case we get let loose, though we're probably not gonna get let loose. The thing is like with the current setup, all we need is like we have three turns to like settle down. Yeah, if we can do that, then we can get the kill on the Reshes Art and be fine with the super boost. Guzmas, the Nidoran, that's completely fine. Well, it's not great because we lost the, we grabbed the Nidoran, but we didn't have another option, so it doesn't matter. Green is life again indeed. So maybe I got way too excited about the Ultra there. Maybe I should have been patient. Maybe I should have been patient. I was over eager. I was a bit, a bit, a bit, a tiny bit over eager. So there's a retreat, there's a flare strike. Oh no, the outrage does it. So the desert, the, the shrine actually hurting us. Hello Ruben, thank you so much for being here. Ah, great wall for swamp birds. And resource management, it literally doesn't matter. Oh, the shrine. We're dead here though. I don't think we can pull this off. We need a rare candy top deck into like rare candy meganium, meganium or something. We need a green top deck. We need a green top deck into rare candy and then I grab nest ball plus rare candy and then I power trade into meganium again. I don't know. This deck is too big brain. Not really, it's just we're really badly dead drawing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruben, for the congrats. I appreciate it. Definitely very happy with the win. 
definitely, definitely very happy with the win. Okay, so hopefully we get a draw supporter on turn one. Thank you, thank you so much, Ruin. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you so much. I am now 31 years old. That feels like a big number. Oh my gosh, where are my draw supporters? Okay, nothing we can do. We'll see if we can top deck. Or, yeah, the. Um, the, the, the. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> Slow, bro. <laughs> we are in meme territory. We are officially in meme territory. Ooh, nice top deck. Very, very nice top deck. Very, very nice top deck. Slowbro is such a meme though. Such, such a meme. Uh, Mega Tilge, my birthday was last Saturday. Yeah, my birthday was last Saturday. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been great. The the week before my birthday I won a regional. The day on my birthday, the weekend of my birthday, I was at my best friend's wedding. So definitely can't complain. No, <laughs> why would you let lose me? As I look, yes, I am 31. <laughs> I am indeed 31 years old. You did not miss here. I turned 31 years old, born in 1988. No, we had found the greens, B House Gaming. Why did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? Big team. Yeah, I mean, we might lose to the meme. We might lose. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not losing to the meme. We are Gucci. Lily for five. Meh. Meh. I mean, decent, but not great. Decent, but not great. I mean, my opponent could just slip six tails, right? Why play this deck, Worm Tummy? Because it's fun. I like it. Just because I can. <laughs> it's definitely not great, though. It's not consistent enough. It's nowhere near consistent enough. Nowhere, nowhere near consistent enough. Okay, I guess with Filiptini, it's really hard for you to lose, right? Or should be really hard for you to lose. Um, okay. <laughs> I just keep finding Chikoritas. Uh, should I use a Guzma? I feel like I should. Quick ripening herb. If I could go into Swampert, this would be amazing. But I'm just gonna bring up the Oranguru. Then I will pass. I will pass Rumi. Okay, we see the Great Ball. Failed. We see the Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball into Macargo for the Ditto would be pretty scary. Combined with the Orangu. But we just see the Slow Bro. <laughs> Thank you, Zyluk. I mean, I I know I have kind of a baby face in a way. <laughs> um, some people say I do look 31, other people say I don't. Um, I honestly don't mind. If I look it cool, if I don't, that's fine as well. Um, it really doesn't make <clears throat> a difference to me. Um, I just want to be healthy and happy. That's all I want. Age is just a number. Okay, so my opponent will probably reflip. No, doesn't want to risk the loss. <laughs> doesn't want to risk the loss. Um, okay, I will happily take the Tate and Liza. Much better than the Lily in this scenario. <clears throat> so can we finally get going? We just need Ultra Ball or Great Ball or Swampert. Any of those. No. <laughs> Where are my evolutions? Where are they? 
any of like any of these two or these two or these two or like even one of these guys I got greens which is not great Ugh. but yeah I think I'd rather not look 31 I'd look I'd rather look younger especially as I grow older <laughs> If I sometimes the beard um, makes me look either younger or older. When I used to shave completely, um, <clears throat> I definitely looked much younger. Um, <clears throat> but I've since gotten like an automatic uh, razor thing, um, so it's been like years since I last shaved like to the skin because I'm lazy. Purely because I'm lazy. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> We're still, still, still. Okay, there we go. Too bad we got this just when our Meganium got KO'd. That's too, too bad. So I'm gonna grab Swampert. Oh my gosh, please don't have Guzma KO on my Meganium. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? If I grab Meganium with this, then it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, we might finally, finally, finally be able to get going. So now I hope my opponent KOs my Orangru. Now I hope my opponent KOs my Orangru. Yeah, <laughs> it's purely because of that. I I don't shave to the skin because I'm lazy. No! <laughs> okay, I feel like that's a misplay. Well, eh, maybe it's not a misplay, misplay, but... <coughs> Three strikes, two tails. I feel like no, he chooses. He doesn't choose to reflip. Okay, I'll take that. So finally, we're gonna do something after two games of not doing anything. We're finally gonna do something. <clears throat> okay, so I'll queen skull for meganium. I will quick ripening curve this meganium into this meganium, and then I will quick ripening curve this mudkip into. The Swamp Bird. I could judge to see four different cards. Uh, yeah, I think I should. I think I should. I think four random cards, which could end up being the the thing, are better than what I had before. So I'm going to power draw the greens. Greens are trying. They're both completely useless at this point. Can I find Swamp Bird? Yes, I can. So I can actually just wear candy, you know, which I don't mind. And now I'll get rid of the shrine. And now we're in business. Yeah, now we are in business. It's so crazy how like the deck looks so like slow and bad, and then all of a sudden you just go boom, five stage twos in play, two hundred and ten damage. What up, right? <laughs> <coughs> so they should gonna have to have. It's gonna be to have a follow up attacker probably. Um, Solar Beam can KO, well can it? Yeah, because he's weak. Um, Swampert can also KO. I feel like my opponent is more likely to miss knockouts than I am at this point. I might have to take a turn to put back um, the triple acceleration energy though. So if I can, if I need to use all four triple accelerations before I commit the super boost. That's what I need to do here. We're gonna see a retreat. Why would you promote then? That makes no sense. Three strikes, two heads, three heads. Has my opponent flipped triple tails? I haven't been paying attention, so I honestly wouldn't be wouldn't be sure. Um Oh, you know what? I also need Kuzma. Or Tate on Liza. Okay, so I'm gonna promote this guy. Well, might have uh, Oranguru was probably better. Okay, so step number one is Palpad. Yeah, Palpat, not this guy, this guy. Yeah, because both of those allow me to switch. That's the important thing. Then I am going to power draw the Nest Ball. I uh, probably should have, I mean, the Great Ball probably should have Nest Ball for Nidoran. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, he did flip Triple Tails. Yeah, I mean, I figured Big Tini would save him, but. And then I'm going to power draw the Lily. Okay, so with double Poke Gear. I really shouldn't have any issue, I, well I hope so, um, finding the either the Tain Liza or hopefully the switch. I mean the, yeah I want Tain Liza 
Kuzma, if I get Kuzma, I would go after Victini probably. So I'm gonna try and increase my odds by getting a Pokemon out. I have one Tailandliza and two Guzmas that I can find. Tailandliza, I'd rather kill this low bro. And then Pokegear number one. There we go. Because this eliminates the threat. Yeah, my opponent might not have the Sloking. And my biggest concern is that is the super boost. Yeah, that's my biggest concern, the super boosts. So power Lariat for 210 damage once again. How do you play competitive Pokemon if you're 31? <laughs> well, by doing it. Simple as that. Simple as that. You, uh, you choose to play it and then you go to the place and you play. Simple as that. I've been playing for 17 years now. It's probably it, like playing Pokemon is what I've done basically my whole life. Maybe Kaling Victini. Maybe there was merit to Kaling Victini. Wait, oh, the Acropatch, never mind. Yeah, so losing this energy, that's the bad part. Yeah, that is the bad part. Because now I need like the same. Now I need. And yeah, I can't retreat, that's the issue. That is the issue. I can't retreat. So now I, I rely on Guzma, yeah, which I, I have. So I'll probably take down the Victini because my opponent just played a stretcher. Oh, he chooses to reflip. Oh, he gets the double heads, darn. So he doesn't miss the KO. I should go after the Victini now, I feel, right? Should go after the Victini, and I should be able to. I should be able to. So, power draw number one, the green's not useful anymore. There's two triples, so, oh well, I still need Guzma. The Lily. And no Guzma, but I can't wave Guzma when I'm looking at my whole deck. Right? So I'm gonna go to this, I'm gonna quick ripening curve. This guy, like if there's only one target, why does it make you choose? Okay, so Victini it is. <laughs> Victini it is to see like it this gives me a chance to um to win the game, right? By him flipping three tails. But also if he flips only one heads, I'm in a good spot because my Needle Queen doesn't get KO'd, therefore he doesn't go down to one price card. If my Nido Queen gets KO'd, however, oh, there's the other Victini. If my Nido Queen gets KO'd, then I need my other Guzma, and then I think I'm still going to lose. I think I've lost this game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've lost this game. Uh, the Alaskan Hero. You turned 33 on Wednesday and you've only played completely for two years. Happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you turned 40, Desert Rat, um, Wolf Jake, you're about to be 32. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I've been into Pokemon my whole life, literally my whole life. So I would actually never, ever, ever want to stop playing. Okay, I think I go after Victini again, right? I think I go after Victini. I definitely think I go after Victini. So I will do this. And then I will Poke Gear for <clears throat> the Kuzma. And then I will Kuzma the Victini. That way I have a chance to win. <laughs> And then I'll attach, and then I'll power Lariat. Creamy, you're 34, played your first ever competitive game tonight. That's awesome. Welcome to the the fabulous competitive game of Pokemon. <laughs> Link, Davey, thank you so much for the cool deck. My opponent's deck is also pretty cool, honestly. No more Victini, so there's a chance, right? There's a chance. Field lower, doesn't matter. There's a chance, guys. 
let's see an ep ep epic <laughs> epic triple tails let's see the epic triple tails triple tails triple tails triple tails triple tails no okay we survive i don't think that matters this guy yon doesn't matter uh do i even have another energy i do oh geez okay i feel like i i mean i have to retreat right i have to retreat and i have to use resource management next turn <laughs> okay so triple tails please triple tails triple tails triple tails triple tails or just one heads no <laughs> no i mean that means we have lost because we can't retreat so the only chance we had is if my opponent flips triple tails and he flips exactly the opposite so Zach, thank you so much for the kind message. You go to regionals when you can, but you'll be skipping worlds. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Okay, so, yeah. Needle Queen, <laughs> not, not the best game to, not the best games to, to show, yeah. Let's find one last one. Yeah, and I think then that's going to be it for the stream. Double Toy Stack won your first ever match. That's awesome, Creamy. That's awesome. <laughs> you wish Stage 2 months were better. Yeah, I know, Mega Silge. It felt like when, when Alola and Ninetales got released, it felt like they were making a comeback. But then the tag teams came out and they were like, no, no, no. <laughs> we have way more HP. We are basic Pokemon. We have broken cards like Cabin yeah, Welder, so yeah, stage twos need to remain in the binder, I think. Stage twos need to remain in the binder. Okay. This is a very awkward hand, especially going second. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. We can't beat this deck. Is this a tie? Because we both have a Ranguru? Is this actually a tie? Well, uh, I can't... Is this actually a tie? Um, okay, I'll green, I mean I'll great ball. So the Nidoran. Is this actually a tie? I mean I'll green for Nest Ball. Okay, I'm gonna save the Ranguru for like last. I think the only way for me to win this is with the timer. <laughs> I actually think the only way I can win this is with the timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Nidoran. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Mudkip. And I'm gonna keep the bench space open for 444 four, four. Oranguru. The right period? What? What right period? I don't think, I mean, well, I don't know what they're playing. That's true. Um, Ray, I am not, this is going to be the last game. <laughs> this is going to be the last game that I will be um, streaming. Yeah, because I do have other things to do today. And I haven't touched my cards um, since the regional. And I need to build a deck for tomorrow's cup. And yeah. <clears throat> so 
So this will be the last match. I do plan on revisiting Baby Blounts though at some point. I do plan on revisiting Baby Blounts at some point. If you want to send me your list on Facebook, I definitely wouldn't mind taking a look at it. Wow, my opponent's just really going hard right now. The Koga's Trap could be annoying. Uh, the Koga's Trap is going to be super annoying actually. The Koga's Trap is what's going to be super, super annoying. There's a Blitzel. Triple Sip Strike on turn 2, that is insane. And she's going for the 4th. 4 4 Sip Strike. Uh. Or not, never mind. Resource management. At some point, she will realize that she needs Koga's Trap back. That way she confuses my Oranguru, I can't attack again, etc. Oh, you're using the list from my YouTube. Oh, so I think I I want to update that with things like um, Jirachi. I feel like Jirachi is necessary. Ooh, nice top deck. Nice greens. Very nice greens here. Uh, let's poke it here again. Another greens. Okay, okay, okay. I need to play greens before I work any into Swampert. Or I can just go. Oh, <laughs> my Ultra Ball surprise? What? Okay, never mind. Never mind a Rooney. Okay, so rare candy into Swampert. My greens will no longer work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and discard it. Uh, Henry, yeah, send it to me on private message. That would be better. Yeah. But yeah, send it to me on private message. No. Hmm. No Meganium, which is what I was hoping for. Okay. Not gonna bench anything else. I need to remember that. And I need more water. I'm gonna go get more water whilst my opponent's turn plays out because it's gonna be a long one. Yep, my opponent's turn still going on. My opponent's turn still going on. Oh gosh. Am I really gonna have to sit through 21 minutes of Specritzi 3000 using sprints and resource management? And whatever else. I mean, I can just draw paths, right? So far, nothing indicates that she has a way to attack my deck. So what does she do if I just draw paths? Judge, Faba. Faba, I'm gonna be heal. I mean... I'll bluff it, but I think this one I just run down the timer. <laughs> I think this one I just run down the timer, which I'm not happy to do so. So, so yeah, Q and A time, guys. Ask anything and I'll answer it. Ask absolutely anything. The USB Forty Five Master, thank you so much for the host. Welcome, guys. You are about to watch the most boring game of Pokemon um, because we're playing against Shedinja decks. They only rely on Oranguru. Um, I have my own Oranguru. Ooh, there's a Mars. So my opponent does have a way to attack my deck. Um, ooh, Chip Chip Ice Axe. Huh. What is my favorite deck to play, Sack? Right now it's Reshizard by far. Reshizard. The USP45 Master, thank you so much for the host, very kind of you. How was your stream? Yeah, how was your stream? That's great, that's great. What decks were you playing? Hello, Ayutero. 
The only way we're winning this, like I, I guess I'll concede. Right? No point in wasting time. I'll concede. As a rescue start, how do you beat Baby Blounds? I mean, I don't think you beat it, but it's just Baby Blounds doesn't feel like a great deck. Um, how do you beat it? Taking a KO and playing Let Loose at the same time and hoping they can't recover from that. Um, you can do that twice. Yeah, and that's it. That was probably a Souls version of Green Ninja, yeah. So let's find a better match. Yeah, we're playing Nido Queen. We are about to finish the stream after this game. Yeah. Um, you did a full art Guzma giveaway. Wow, that's very kind of you. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Um, what should you play at your cup tomorrow if you're tired of Zapdos Beast decks blowing up your precious art? Then you should play Zapdos, I mean, not Zapdos, Zork, Dugong, Sloking. Yeah. Um, Spoon Souls, can you set up a YouTube challenge against Azul on my home best of three? Uh, yeah, I could. I've done it before against Azul. Um, I definitely could do something like that, Spoon Sauce. Um, you should tell them as well when they stream. Yeah, because I know it feels like I'm always the one contacting other people to try and call that, but they never take the initiative. But I'd be happy to do something like that. We were playing known hand last game with Shetinja in Expanded. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And wow, Lily right there is amazingly good. The Lily top deck is just insane. I did give my opponent a Mulligan, not the Beast of Deals. I feel like Double Swampert, Double Meganium, Double Nidoqueen is what you want, but then Double Swampert facilitates that versus Double Nidoqueen. Um... Or we can just find absolutely everything. That also works. That generally also works. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass here. Now that's the dream start, yeah? That's the, the start you want to get with this sort of deck. Yeah. Thank you, Henry. I'll check it out after the stream. So yeah, Spoon Sauce, I, I was thinking, yeah, <laughs> that I do want to make, or I do want to set up um, more collabs um, over the summer with people, yeah, because after NAIC, like, there won't be any tournaments other than cups and stuff, so it will probably be in, in everyone's best interest, yeah, to, um, to, 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 like, collab and do other things, other more interesting things, um, than just grinding the ladder in a format that will no longer matter for 99% of the Pokemon players and everyone will be asking post rotation and stuff. So yeah, collabs seems like a really good way to to go about that. So I'm gonna greens for a double rare candy. Yeah, because I'm looking to KO this Jirachi. And then I'm gonna Great Ball because then that way I know which Pokemon I need to get off of the Ultra Ball. So rare candy into the active. Then I will use Queen Skull to search for Meganium. Now this is a sick turn too. Yeah, this is the hype. This is what you want to do with this deck. Obviously it doesn't happen. Yeah, as you've seen every time, it definitely, definitely doesn't happen. I feel like I can, I can get rid, well, I might need to recycle the energies actually. So I'll get rid of Lily and that guy. And then I kind of like getting Meganium out more oh you know what i should have grabbed no this is fine double meganium is better because i am up against a fire deck so you never know right you never know so here comes the first knockout power laureat i guess the super boost has the potential to get me two prizes right so that's the dream rare candy that's pretty nice so again queen skull for needle queen queen skull again for swampert lily the rare candy actually doesn't matter how long can you see yourself playing PTGO, Henry? As, as in, like, how many more years or how long of a time throughout any given day? Um, in terms of for the future, I mean, I'm hoping for the rest of my life. Um, boosted turn, indeed. <laughs> that was honestly an insanely good turn. My opponent will try to heat tackle me this turn, I assume. Uh, only Weldered for one though, so actually it won't be possible. How many more years? I hope um, forever. 
yeah realistically maybe five maybe ten i honestly don't know it's a really hard question um it's definitely something that scares me a little bit you know um purely in terms of um like just my future my like because i can't apply the pokemon t the pokemon skill sets specifically to like a job um i don't know it's definitely something that kind of worries me for the future but i'm also like really enjoying what i'm doing um coaching and videos and live streams and everything so i'm hoping it lasts for a very very long time um it seems like we have um a lot of pokemon coming <laughs> in the near future so that's really good as well um oh if i don't get an a ko here that's gonna really suck that's going to really really suck so yeah i'm hoping at the very least five years oh wow power draw into triple poke gear what yep no chance no energy so i mean not the biggest of deals honestly we're still ahead in the price race in the 1v1 price race that power draw was really dumb though <laughs> Why would you? That energy attachment makes absolutely no sense. You have to get with the first attack. Start powering up another Arcanine because that one's gonna get KO'd. Oh, okay. I can see that. I can see that. I feel like the better target might have been Swampert. Um, and Meganium is weak to fire, so once again, you don't need the energy attachment there, my friend. You really don't. You need it to attach to the Growlithe. Because now I promote this Nidoqueen. Hopefully I can attack this turn. I don't need more than one Meganium, honestly. Right? Power draw to nothing, yeah. <laughs> I mean, power draw to thin, right? Power draw to thin. Okay, so I assume, since no one has mentioned the sound issues anymore, I assume the sound issues are fixed. I'm sure I'll hear about it on YouTube if they aren't once I upload these videos. Um, so there's Nidoqueen. Okay, so I'm gonna Queen's Call first for the Chikorita and the Swampert. My other Meganium is prized. So I'm gonna Queen's Call for the Swampert and then I'm definitely gonna be trading away those silly Poke Gears that I got. I'll Bench, I'll Quick Ripening. And then power draw a poke gear. Maybe I could, like if I played them and found greens, then I would be thinning two cards. <clears throat> There's the green, so thinning the greens is actually better than thinning poke gears, like technically. Okay, now I got all the energies. Who would have thought? And then power lariat. And now my opponent can't KO me, so I'm gonna get ahead once again. It's like in the 1v1 price trade off, you can't ever not take a prize, otherwise you start falling behind, 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 behind. Um, uh, now I'm a little worried. If the super boost is not there, my opponent could actually like choose not to take knockouts and then I would lose. <laughs> Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. I mean, that's not something my opponent can risk though. No, it might be his win condition at this point at this point in time so actually letting go of the nido queen might have been the better call i definitely have a free turn because i'm gonna be ahead in order to um resource management back the the triples right i definitely have a free turn to do that um okay there's the heat factory so we could actually draw extra cards with the fire if we really really wanted to probably not but if we really wanted to we could do that and yeah looks like we're gonna close out the stream with a solid victory looks like we're gonna close out the stream with a solid victory the turtonator is kind of scary not the use of deals fiery flint i mean it feels like my opponent is playing his deck and he's like playing all of these cards, but there's not that big of a purpose, you know? 
Uh, read the poor man. I tried to remember to add the deck list in the description. Um, I appreciate the suggestion. I, I swear I do try to add them. I just sometimes forget. <laughs> but I, I do try. If And if someone mentions it in the in the chat or in the comment section that's when i'm like oh i forgot and then i edit it in yeah when will i stream again henry i'm hoping i'm hoping to stream on sunday yeah i'm hoping to stream on sunday i was thinking of i was thinking that we could watch the 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 stream of the regional like day two the day to stream together um I do have soccer on Sunday, but after that, like in the afternoon, I wouldn't mind streaming or then perhaps after the tournament, yeah, I wouldn't mind um, streaming after the the regional is over, right? But I, I would love to like, we could get a group together, um, watch the finals or watch the top eight and then um, get some more games in, yeah? And after that, I'm hoping to live stream on Monday as well. The rest of the week, I'm not so sure. But I'm hoping Sunday, I would tomorrow if I didn't have the leak up. Um, but I'm hoping Sunday, definitely Monday. Yeah, definitely, definitely Monday. And since my girlfriend is not home for the next foreseeable future, I could actually live stream at night. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing that. Um, but who knows, because I, I'm also trying to take better care of myself in terms of health. And um, that means like getting enough sleep, um, like getting enough sleep hours, eating at the right time, waking up early, going to the gym, etc. Yeah, like I really want to, like with the with the whole Tablemon lifestyle and all the travel and the tournaments and the coaching and the videos and everything, a lot of things have um, gotten a little bit out of hand for me. Uh, one of which is my weight. Yeah, I used to weigh. 170 pounds and right now I weigh 200 pounds so I did pack on quite a bit of weight yeah which I'm not happy about and I do want to change that so this summer yeah that's gonna be my main goal yeah I go to a gym every day take care of myself I bought an under desk elliptical so I can keep working out whilst I'm sitting at the computer um, getting my little bit of cardio so really trying to get better um, no trips means I can eat food at home every single day um, it's obviously on me that I don't make the healthiest choices when I'm traveling um, but being home is much easier for me to like eat a lot um, a lot less um, fast food um, high calorie food etc etc so that's the con against live streaming at night means either they'd be shorter live streams or um, I would be going to bed later therefore waking up later therefore having less time in the morning to do things for me yeah I feel like I've been doing a lot of things um, for the channel for um, people um, meaning um, like YouTube Twitch coaching um, social life family life girlfriend etc and I haven't really been in taking care too much of myself okay so this is the crucial turn right this is the crucial turn let me first nest ball for the Nidoran the super boost is there right so that's good that is good so we want to get to the super boost so I'm gonna equip ripening quick ripening and then I am going to, I mean, I definitely need to bench the Oranguru. And then I need to thin the deck as much as I can. Well, not as much as I can, right? Uh, do I not have supporters left in the deck? Uh, I have one. So basically I need to thin and then I need to get the KO plus judge, right? That is the goal here queen skull okay now i have seven cards left now i can poke gear guarantee the greens now i have six cards now i will power draw once the greens yeah the greens no energy that's fine i will power draw the other greens 
there's the super boost. I will counter the stadium. And I will... Uh, should I thin? I, oh, I can't Great Ball and Ultra Ball. If I have zero cards in my deck. Okay, interesting. I did not know that. Maybe that's PTGO though, but I did not know that. I guess it is public knowledge that you don't have a deck. Um, my opponent says well played. Um, we'll say it back. We do the Parallelariat. We have now the energy that doesn't go away. So if my opponent gets a KO, and when I need to fire, find the fire energy, put the, the energies back and then get the KO. Um, but as long as that doesn't happen, we should be good and we should have the game. Um, but there's definitely a chance of it happening. The good thing is we're so far ahead in the prizes. We have the one turn, the one free turn to do that. And then the Oranguru or whatever goes down and then we just use Nidoqueen to, to clean up. Um, Professor Foots, meal prepping. Yeah, meal prepping. So that's another thing. I am extremely lazy for many things. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm very good at doing a lot of things. But I'm very lazy at doing others. And cooking, for me, feels like a waste of time. Like, in my mind, if I'm cooking, that means I'm not doing something more productive. Yeah, which is wrong because cooking for myself which is cooking for my health, which is for me, right? So that's something I need to change from... Ooh, it might happen. Something I need to change um, within, within myself, right? However, 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 however... Um, there every Monday um, in Mexico, like getting someone to help around the house is um, very affordable. Yeah, so every Monday um, we have a lady that helps us. Ooh, my opponent got the KO, <laughs> so we have a game. Um, my opponent, I mean, the lady comes on Monday, and I I buy all the food so that she cooks. Um, so basically, she meal preps for me. And I just grab the, the topperware, um, heat it up, and um, get the get the food ready for the week. So um, since I'm gonna be like home alone and whatnot this next few months, um, I'm gonna try to eat out the least possible. Yeah, the least, the least possible. And therefore, um, I should be able to. Okay, I should be able to guarantee the fire. There it is. I'm still gonna power draw. Um, but hopefully, like I've already, uh, just this morning, I made like this whole um, Excel spreadsheet of counting calories and making sure um, how many calories I'm going to consume every day and what foods I'm going to eat every day. I'm going to try to stick to that as much as possible. Yeah, as much, as much as possible. I, I mean, Swampert can get the KO, right? So I'm going to resource management three triple accelerations and then that should be the game. Right? That should absolutely be the game. The only Pokemon I can't KO with Swampert is the Turtonator, but then I have Kuzma, so I should be fine. Unless my opponent attacks my gate, my deck somehow, um, I should be safe. Yeah. Um, meal prep is super fast. Once you get a system down, you can knock out a week of food in like an hour. Or so yeah, I know. Like that's um, yeah, exactly. Make spreadsheets. I'm not doing macros. Like I'm trying to keep it just two, two calories with a high protein intake. Um, that's my goal right now. That's what I'm trying to um, to do. Uh, to keep it like simple, easy, uh, just worry about eating the same stuff every single day. I've done it before, I don't get bored. So that's what I'm gonna try to do this time around. <clears throat> and, um, and lose the extra pounds. Yeah, I actually did it like four years ago. I went from 200 to 170. Yeah, and then over the course of the last two years, I've gone the weight back because I generally stopped worrying and caring about um, about counting calories and eating properly, and I stopped going to the gym as much, etc. But that's my summer project: just going back, getting back into the horse, and going full on. Yeah, it's like everything. Um, I try to give 100% to everything I do. I neglected myself for a long time. So um, I'm trying to give 100% of my uh, interest and attention to my own health because me being healthy means me being happy and me being happy translates to everything else in my life. So that's what I'm going to try to do. That's my summer project. 
I started off this week, I've been eating the same thing. I'm just eating basically eggs, chicken breasts, um, turkey breast, and rice, and that's it. Um, and protein bars, that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's that's gonna be my my summer, yeah, my chicken filled summer. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I really appreciate, and I love interacting. Yeah, like I've been uploading more standalone videos and live streaming, uh, but I really do love going back and forth and interacting with you guys. So I'll definitely see you guys Sunday. Wish me luck at the cup. Um, Henry, I, I didn't make the video of eating M&M's. I actually, you just reminded me of it. So I should make that. Yeah, or I should make that. Um, I did. I've only started like really pushing this week because I was in Brazil and blah, blah. Um, from Tuesday to today that I weighed myself, um, I lost half a pound. So something, um, though I know your weight fluctuates um, by almost um, like two pounds every day. So I'm trying to look at it as the global the global picture. Um, so I look, um, you got a cup tomorrow and you're really worried you've made a bad pick for the cup. Um, what's the pick what did you choose and yeah ray thank you so much for the good luck i hope to be posting tomorrow that i won the lick cup yeah that's exactly that's glycogen and that's drinking water and going to the bathroom and everything yeah thank you ayotero i will see you guys someday and if not if for whatever reason i'm tired or not um definitely monday and thank you so much if you're watching on youtube don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.